Hello, Sydney. What's going on, everyone? I hope everyone had a great holiday, and welcome back to another episode of Nightmare Culture. This is going to be kind of a unique episode. It's kind of, it's going to kind of be a rant. Just kind of stay with me here. But what I'm going to discuss is why I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre was the wrong franchise to make a video game about. Over the holiday break, I've been enjoying a lot of time playing some video games, had a lot of time off, and really enjoyed playing some Friday 13th when people were online. Evil Dead, which was a lot of fun, Dead by Daylight, and then I started playing Text Chainsaw Massacre again and just didn't connect with it. And I think I'm starting to realize why. And I think it's because, for me personally, again, this is all my opinion, I, I'm going to guess that some will agree and some obviously will not. I just think, for me, that Text Chainsaw Massacre just doesn't feel like a right franchise to go with. I think it's because Leatherface is probably one of the least liked horror icons. And I think the reason why us as gamers or even people just that love horror, the reason why we love these icons is because of almost their motives and morale behind them. Jason Voorhees is obviously trying to protect the Camp Crystal Lake and seek revenge for his mother. And so he goes after these camp counselors. So making a game of that was obviously perfect and a lot of fun evil dead it's this comedy and satire that never takes itself seriously so making a game about that was easy dead by daylight i mean literally it's just creatures from all over you have alien you have michael myers we'll, we call him the shape and nightmare and it's just those characters are iconic but they all have incredible motive when you deal with creatures, it doesn't matter their motive, right? They they react on instinct. When you deal with somebody like Michael Myers and uh, Freddy, you're dealing with motive. Freddy has motive for being killed for whatever reason by the parents of the school for thinking they did what he did. And then you have the shape, which if you go, or Michael Myers, which if you go by the original film, which I'm going to stay with because I don't like the whole crazy direction they went, his motive was basically to kill his sister they all have this morale to them if someone does something bad sex drugs alcohol whatever it is those are the ones that die so playing a video game based on those characters doesn't feel wrong i guess you would say I, I, i'm going down a crazy rabbit trail here and like i said bear with me Tex chainsaw massacre just doesn't feel that great playing i mean you're slicing and dicing people and it's like okay but why why, what's my motive here other than they just happen to stumble upon a hillbilly redneck backwoods and now they're stuck and they're gonna be wearing someone's skin it just it was the wrong franchise to do gun media i think that's why like i'm having trouble getting on getting in a game sometimes taking so long it's just not the franchise they should have done and that's i mean that's really all one discuss was just this kind of rant of why why would they do this why not go with someone different yes i'm going to get comments and people say well it's licensing issues okay deal with it get licensing for it work your butt off and get it done you did it for friday 13th yes it was a shit show afterwards but you still did it dead by daylight somehow finds a way to get the shape i know they can't call it michael myers due to their licensing but they have Freddy, they have Alien, they have all these other franchises. Why can't some company grab Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream even, because there's some good motive there, and make a game of those? I just feel like they wanted to make a quick asymmetrical horror game to kind of get that same success they had with Friday 13th. And I know, I can guarantee you, Leatherface was not their first pop-up in their mind to do. It just probably was the easier licensing to get because, let's be honest, he's like the Aquaman of the horror icons, if that makes sense. Anyways, that's it. This was a completely different video than I usually do, so sorry about that. But if you enjoyed it, do me a huge favor, give it a thumbs up. And if you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. If you don't agree with me, also let me know that in the comments below. I'm, I'm here to hear it all. But if you really want to do me a huge favor and get more content, maybe like this and like the others I've done in the past, hit that subscribe button.